you join me in another episode of the Curtis Zone and I do nothing but thank you so much and ask that you hit the like and subscribe button for more content. Today we are doing a very special episode, another another list of people who can defeat a certain character. And today we're doing on a very most iconic character in the Transformers universe, the most iconic villain, and it's not Megatron. Instead we're going to do a, a list of characters that can fight or defeat Unicron. Now here's the thing about Unicron, he is one of the most iconic villains in the Transformers universe, so I thought it'd be a great idea to do this episode with Transformers 1 come set to release as of next Friday. I am personally excited. So let's get into this episode and remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more of my bouncing pecs. I hope that you all are as excited about this as I am. Now before we get started with this episode, a little bit of news. It has been reported that Ian McGregor, who you may remember as Obi-Wan Kenobi, will be receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and we do nothing but congratulate him. So for those of you who are a fan of Ian McGregor, please give him a round of applause. The second piece of news for the world of Warner Brothers, it has been reported that October 24th, 2025 will be the release of Mortal Kombat 2. This this is due to the fact that all the delays have been happening since 2021 because of all of the casting, all the crew, all the contract disputes, licensing issues, zoning requirements. After all that red tape was done, the filming was done perfect was done perfectly. So, I hope that everyone is excited for it as I am, especially since they canceled the Scorpion series. So, yeah, there's that. The final piece of news is that the Crow movie, the latest one the latest Crow movie will be releasing on the streaming services and digital very early due to the fact that it has been a rocky start and has had a rocky reception from everyone, everyone of the fans. So I hope that everyone is ready for it because I heard both good and bad things about the Crow movie. So yeah, there's that. All right, let's get into this episode, everybody. Let's talk about all the characters who could fight or defeat Unicron. Now, when it came to this episode, when it came to this episode, I had to choose like god level characters that can fight or defeat Unicron. And here's why, and we're about to get into his power set right now. The thing about Unicron is that he is first and foremost a a Decept not an Autobot or a Decepticon, he is the brother of Primus, the giver of all life on Cybertron. He is Primus' polar opposite, and which is why Primus created the 13 Primes. Due to the fact that Unicron is considered so powerful that he could defeat, that he could kill Primus with, a, with one blast. Which is why Primus created the 13 Primes, and with the power of the 13 Primes, Prim Unicron was put to sleep for centuries. And... And so, he created this thing called Dark Energon, which is his blood. Dark Energon is, has the power to create Terracons. The Terracons are basically humanoid, are basically living zombies. They have more power than a Cybertronian, which makes them extremely deadly. They are basically, they, to, they are basically what Galactus' heralds are to him, which is, which is why I think we should talk about all the characters that can fight him. Another thing you need to know about Unicron is the fact that he can eat planets. Like Galactus, he eats planets, but he can only eat planets that have been created by Primus. He cannot devour entire, he cannot devour Earth due to the fact that it's a carbon-based life forms and he cannot sustain himself with them. So let's talk about all the characters that can fight or defeat him. 15 minutes, Steve. Kill him. 15 minutes, Steve. Damn. Now the first character who I think could take on Unicron in a fight is Superboy Prime. The reason being because Superboy Prime is an evil version of Superman in an alternate universe who has one heck of a punch. The guy once punched the barriers of reality apart my friends. Punching them apart so hard that he brought back a bunch of characters in the DC Universe including Red Hood. Also, in the DC Death Metal Saga, known as Secret Origins, he punched the bat who laughed so hard that he destroyed all the evil alternate planets that were inside of him. 
So, yes, against Unicron, I think that Superboy Prime would totally decimate the guy. The next character that I think could defeat Unicron in a fight is Imperiax. The reason being because Imperiax has the power of the Big Bang within him. This means that he can destroy and create universes with, a, with ease. And with this, and up against Unicron, he would be able to defeat him. This, this is because you, you know, this is because Imperiax once defeated Darkseid, Superman, and Mongol. He defeated Superman and Mongol at the same time. And this is one of the reasons why his one of his nicknames is the Destroyer and Creator of Galaxies. And everybody who has seen him in the Legion of Superheroes series knows how powerful he is and what a great warrior he is. So he could probably solo Dark. He could probably solo Darkseid, and he could solo. Unicron and all of his Terracons by himself and it will be the most interesting fight that anyone has ever had the fortunate pleasure of seeing. The next character that I can think of take on Unicron in a fight is the Bat who laughs. I know what you're thinking this is just an evil version of Batman but truth be told he was once put his brain in the, in the head of Dr. Manhattan and became an evil amalgamous version of Dr. Manhattan. Which was had the award, which had the power of reality warping capabilities. With that said, up against Unicron, I believe that that he would be able to fight and win. Because let's just face it, the two of them going against each other is like a freaking end of the universe type deal. See as though the bat who laughs once went up against an entity, and the two of them are just throwing planets at one another, which was the most interesting fight in comic book history. I mean. Come on, look at this. The last characters of the DC Universe that I could think could take on Unicron to fight are the entities of this emotional spectrum which have created the Lantern Cores. I know what you're thinking, these entities are not exactly very, very powerful, but you would be wrong due to the fact that the entities are basically the creation of the emotional spectrum throughout the entire universe. And the, all of them together against Unicron a fight would be the most interesting fight ever because they're basically the primes of up against Unicron. So yeah, there's that. Moving out of the DC Universe and going into the Marvel Universe, the next character that can take on Unicron a fight is Galactus and his Heralds. Why you may ask? Because Galactus is a planet-eating entity that has the ability to feed on all sorts of matter, including antimatter. And also he has Heralds like Unicron has his Terracons, and the Heralds have the, the elemental forces of fire, water, earth, metal, and he also has the Silver Surfer, who is an interesting character with the, with the power of cosmic, and he's also the fastest character in Marvel Universe. Well, one of the fastest characters in the Marvel Universe. Also, up against, up against Unicron, I believe the two of them would have a, would have a great, a great fight, because the two of them both feet on planets, so going up against going up against the two of them, they'll be fighting over one planet to eat, and it will be an interesting fight. So yeah, there's that. The next characters that I could think can take on Unicron in a fight would be a character from the Mortal Kombat universe, and that character is Kronika, the Keeper of Time. The reason being because Kronika is, well, the Keeper of Time and a Titan. Basically, she is the Mortal Kombat version of Thanos. The only difference is she's considered to be more powerful than Thanos because she is the keeper of all time, which means that she's the creator of all of existence. This drove her insane, and she had to, to, to stop and recreate time all over again multiple times due to the fact that she saw that Raiden was going up against her creation of reality. So, the, her up against Unicron would be a very powerful fight. The next character that I think could take on Unicron in a fight would, is, a, is a character that I don't think that anybody was expecting, and that character is Lord Draken. The reason being because Lord Draken of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is basically the Morphin Grid turned evil. And as everyone has seen my past episode, you know that the Morphin Grid is one of the most, is the number one ranked most powerful weapon in the world of animation and all of children's programming. This is due to the fact that the Morphin Grid is turned someone into a superhuman fighting force, an indestructible superhuman fighting force. And up against Unicron and his Terracons, he would be very, very powerful. And combine that to the fact that he has the Dragon Zord combined with the White Tiger Zord, 
basically the two of them molded together and that is a very powerful weapon itself so that being said do you think that Draken could win in that fight the final character that I think could take on Unicron in a fight is a character that people may may disagree with me on but I think it'll be an interesting fight nonetheless and that is from the Dragon Ball Z universe Kid Buu the reason being because Kid Buu is the most deadliest character in the deep in the Dragon Ball Z universe because he has more power than any Dragon Ball villain ever created. He is more powerful than Frieza, Cell, and even Broly combined. This is because he has the power to absorb their powers and make them his own. And add that to the fact that he's also a skilled fighter and he has and he, the fact that he's clinically insane. And yes, he is one deadly warrior. And he also has his Planet Destroyer ability, which makes him even more powerful. A Planet Destroyer against a guy that can eat an entire planet. So, yeah, there's that. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of The Curtis Zone. I ask that, once again, that you hit the like and subscribe button for more content. If, if you want to see more of me, my smiling face, and of course, more of my bouncing packs. I ask one more time that you give some love to our sponsors, Coastal Waste and Recycling, because as you know, your garbage powers someone's world. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you just want to leave a request, period, put it in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you. And as always, I am. This is just my list when I talk about when I do stuff like this. So if you guys have a character that you think should be on this list, put it in the comment section down below, and I will get get back to you guys. And really get in on the discussion, okay? We all love that. We here on the Curtis Zone, we love that. I'll see you guys soon. And remember, check out my bouncing text if you want to see more. <laughs>